Make sure to disconnect the power and remove the battery before changing a screen. Then remove the four rubber screw covers. Then remove the four bezel screws. Go ahead and remove the bezel. Start from the side and move to the top, gently prying the plastic away from the screen. On this Toshiba, the bezel continues into a hinge cover piece which needs to be carefully snapped out. Open the lid fully and using a pick or a flat screwdriver, snap out the hinge cover from two sides directing the force away from the screen. Okay, now that the bezel is removed, remove two screws attaching the frame to the top cover. It is best not to remove the top cover completely. Instead, gently wedge in to reveal the three tiny screws on each side of the frame. Now we can remove the three screws holding the LCD panel on each side. Support the LCD screen on the final screw. Once all the screws are removed, place the screen on the keyboard. Gently lift the tape securing the video connector and leave it on the video cable. Set the video cable aside. Then disconnect the inverter cable. This is a CCFL screen. It requires an inverter. Your laptop might use LED screen, which does not use an inverter. LED and CCFL screens are not interchangeable. Discard the old panel. Line the keyboard with a cloth or a paper towel if the replacement screen does not have any protective film on it. Place the new screen on the keyboard, reconnect the inverter cable, reconnect the video cable. Make sure to line up the connector perfectly and gently snap it in. Be extra careful when attaching the video cable. Both connectors are very fragile. Secure the video connector with tape, then lift the screen up, minding the protective film tabs, Line it up with a frame and remove the film. Secure the screen with three screws on each side. Reinstall the two frame screws. Now we can replace the bezel. For the proper fit, snap in the bottom piece first, then move along the sides to the top edge. Mind any protruding cables and don't apply too much force. Then reinstall the bezel screws and the rubber screw covers. Flip the laptop over and check that the bottom edge of the bezel is properly snapped in. Reinstall the battery, reconnect the power, and put the laptop up. Once the startup graphics appear, you will know that the screen has been properly installed. At this point, you can cancel the boot up by holding the power button and you're done.